Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday I posted a video that Microsoft could make Windows 11 or a possible Windows 12 a subscription-based OS in the future. And this was because subscription-related entries had been spotted in one of the INR configuration files of a previous Windows Canary Channel build indicating that Microsoft is possibly working on a subscription-based version of Windows. And I'll leave that video down below in case you would like more info. Now, I have noticed after posting that video yesterday um, from the comments, and there have been plenty of comments, that there seems to be a little bit of confusion as to the way forward with this possible subscription-based OS. So I thought I'd just do this quick video just to give you my thoughts on the matter, if it would help and bring a little bit of clarity into the situation, because it seems that a lot of viewers seem to think that um, Microsoft is going to make Windows as a whole a complete subscription-based OS in the future, which I personally don't think they are going to do. So here are my thoughts. Now, as I've mentioned previously, um, your standalone PC is not going anywhere. So you're going to have your PC where you buy Windows once and you know you get your quality updates, secured updates, bug fixes. That's not going to go anywhere. But already though, Microsoft does have a Windows 365 enterprise service in the cloud for enterprises and corporations where they um, charge a monthly subscription for those enterprises to access Windows 11 in the cloud. And I have posted on Windows 365 um, in previous videos. So just do a search on the channel if you want more information regarding that. So already we have Windows 365 enterprise. And as I've mentioned previously, Microsoft is also planning to launch Windows 365 for consumers in the future which means your average home user like me will also be able to subscribe to a Windows PC in the cloud. And I'll leave a video I did post on that down below if you would like more clarity on that. So that's already going to be existing. We already have Windows 365 um, as an enterprise service. And in the future, we will also have a cloud PC for your average home user and your consumer, which has got nothing to do with your standalone PC. Um, that's a separate service that Microsoft is offering. So your standalone PC with a once-off purchase of Windows, will, I don't think will ever go anywhere. I mean, Microsoft would be crazy to remove that option because they would just be leaving themselves up to a whole lot of a marketing disaster when it comes to people moving on from Windows. Now, when it comes to a future version of Windows or a possible Windows 12, here are my thoughts regarding a possible subscription-based OS, because I did say yesterday that um, this is all speculation at this stage, and Microsoft had never confirmed and has never confirmed anything about a, a subscription-based OS in the future. And I'm not talking about Windows 365 in the cloud. I'm talking about where you would have to pay for Windows and um, basically on a standalone PC. So here are my thoughts on this. Um, if this ever does become a reality, I think that um, you'll have one or two options. First of all, you'll get your standalone option where you do a once-off purchase of Windows, where you get your monthly security, quality updates, bug fixes, and so on, and you get your new features rolling out at you know at certain intervals. And then it, you then you will have a, a subscription-based option where you get other little benefits. So maybe um, you'll get more frequent feature updates or maybe a one or two features that don't make it to the so-called regular version of Windows. But as mentioned, um, your standalone PC is going to be going nowhere. Microsoft would be crazy to remove that option. And as I said yesterday in the video I posted, um, a very similar example, just to kind of um, finish this video, would be currently how you get Office as a standalone service, and then you get Office that's integrated into Microsoft 365 where you purchase Office once as a standalone app. But if you're paying for a Microsoft 365 subscription, Office is integrated into that as well. And then you get more frequent feature updates and um, quality updates and so on. And I hope that clears up a little bit of confusion because um, Windows as a complete OS will never just become this one subscription-based OS. And your standalone um once off paid version of Windows will not be going anywhere either. That will be a marketing, marketing disaster from, from Microsoft. So just want to bring a bit of clarity into the situation. And obviously, if any more info does um, become available regarding this possible 
sub subscription-based OS that could be rolling out to a future version of Windows 11 or a possible Windows 12. Obviously, I'll post and keep you in the loop. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.